There are dozens of exercises you could do on chess day, but you probably don't want to spend your Monday, aka International Chess Day, doing them all. You just want to know the best exercises to build a muscular chest, so we've done the work to compare them for you. Our choices are based on results in the lab, but also the weight room. Serious lifters know that measuring activation from electromyography, or EMG, to pick the best muscle building exercises is helpful, but far from perfect. So we used a number of parameters, including ease of learning and performing, total muscle stimulation and intensity, popularity among diehard lifters and bodybuilders, this matters, availability of equipment in commercial gyms. Here are the best chest exercises for muscle growth. Barbell bench press, why it's on the list. It's popular to hate on the bench press these days, but it's one of the most popular lifts in the gym for a reason. For one, the standard barbell bench allows you to move the most weight. It's also an easier lift to control than pressing with heavy dumbbells. The exercise is also relatively easy to spot, so don't be afraid to ask for one. The bench press also responds well to classic protocols like 5x5 for muscle and strength, or even 10x10, aka German volume training, for pure mass. If you want to get serious, there are systematic bench press programs like Bench 300 to help you chase a big number. In your workout, bench toward the start of your chest workout for heavy sets in low rep ranges, such as 5 to 8 reps. There are better moves for high rep chest burnouts. Vary your grip width and style for more complete chest development. Dumbbell bench press. Why it's on the list? Whether dumbbell or barbell presses are better for your growth is an age-old weight room debate. Luckily, you can do both, but there's little doubt that the dumbbell variation has more versatility throughout the beginning, middle, and end of a chest workout. In your workout, at least some of the time, do flat dumbbell presses toward the start of your chest workout for heavy sets in lower rep ranges. They can also work well for high reps later in a chest workout, either flat or on an incline or decline. What not to do? A few sets of the barbell bench press, then the same sets and reps for dumbbell. The similar nature of these movements was confirmed via EMG analysis, which demonstrated no significant differences between flat bench dumbbell and barbell presses in regard to muscle activation. Dip. Why it's on the list. Dips were a staple in the training programs of the Golden Age greats for good reason. Nothing stretches the chest and makes it work quite like this bodyweight movement. You can add extra weight with a dip belt if you're seriously strong, or use band or machine assistance if you struggle with bodyweight reps. Plus, they're a great spotter-free alternative to the decline press. In your workout. If you can do them for high reps, dips make a great finisher to a pro-level chest day. If you can't, you can do them earlier in your session in traditional strength or muscle building rep ranges, such as 6 to 8 or 8 to 10 reps. Dips also make a great superset pairing with push-ups for a big pump at the end of your workout. Decline Press Why it's on the list? The common thinking on decline is that it's for lower chest only, and while it is good for that, all-time greats like six-time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates in its six-week blood and guts program favor it because it hits the entire chest and allows them to lift heavier and more comfortably than the flat bench. If your gym has a comfortable decline press machine, like a plate-loaded hammer strength machine, use it. Along with the traditional double arm press, you can sit sideways and press across your body one arm at a time. This unilateral chest move emphasizes shoulder abduction, one of the primary actions of the pec major. In your workout, do free weight presses early in your chest workout because they require more effort and stabilizer muscles than machines. A machine version could be the final heavy exercise in your workout before switching to lighter pump work. Push-up. Why it's on the list. An obvious point in favor of push-ups is that they require no equipment and can be the centerpiece of a home chest workout. But they're also highly versatile, easy to adjust for range of motion, and can help strategically target different parts of your chest with a few simple tweaks to elevation or hand placement. Yeah, but they're just push-ups, you say. They're definitely not enough to make you strong. 
Believe it or not, an in-depth analysis found that push-ups and bench presses are similar in both muscle activation and overall muscle gains. This doesn't mean push-ups should be all you do, but it means they definitely should have a place in your repertoire. In your workout, sets of push-ups to failure are a great way to burn out or add volume in the late stages of a workout. And they're awesome in a compound set with dips, a mechanical drop set after flyers or presses, or an antagonist chest and back superset with rows. Weighted push-ups and push-ups with resistance bands can even be a primary push movement if needed.